The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Past. Enjoy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. It's gotta be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. I'm sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's... It's genius. All right. Going on three. One... Three, go! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! 
Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <sighs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop. Yes, whatever you want. Please, just, just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll we'll find a rocket booster. Hey, come on, come oh, on. I'm Just loving your everyone optimism. Calm You're down, saying we okay? can't? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. 
If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll toy. teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could aspect use your help. of the mission. Yeah, so of course you could. Is that a yes or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great, real helpful. Honestly, don't know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. The reality all right, is I got. No, we we've had choice. our differences, so and I'll, I'll, I'll admit I can get here. pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. But try to up maximize our chances, okay, here's I'm ready one. to bury them. We don't go. All right. <laughs> you know it's it's a metaporical hatchet, Fine. especially What's because solution, I know I don't really have any hands right I now. Which oh, is a real bitch. I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy O. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Billions. I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great! Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. 
We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, Princess. You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Okay, I admit it. Pandora got to me. This last week has been a little stressful. <laughs> oh, that's nothing compared to what a mission to Helios will be like. At least on Helios, I know what to expect. This place is a nightmare. Being around you is a nightmare. All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a, he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins, is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no, it's, it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can, I can shut mine? We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man, I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite... Uh-uh, uh-uh, just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great! Only problem is funding? No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Because look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh... She's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? 
Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. Hi. <sighs> I know we've never met, but I was with Athena when uh, she got taken. Yeah? Yeah. She talked about you a lot. Sure she did. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Two Vault Hunters ambushed her. Which ones? Brick and, uh... Mordecai. She would have beaten them too if Valerie hadn't attacked. Brick. Mordecai. Good to know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her the way she acted sometimes i didn't even know if she liked me like maybe i was just a fluke or something she told me to pass on a message she said she loves you she did i oh goodness okay oh wow Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? Scooter, want to come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our pants. You ah! are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah, let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at Dumpy go! Uh, 
could do nothing. <sighs> Back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. Hey. Ah, oh, really? That's it? I thought he'd be like, I don't know, helpful. Or at the very least, an unwitting psycho decoy so we can escape with our faces intact. Nope. Just a tiny, floating shittiant. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Oh, uh. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. But it did happen, Jack. I can't just bury it. Ah, oh, come on, Reese. We're partners in crime now. We can join, like twins or whatever. Except not as gross. You know what, you just scratch that. Think of something else. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now. Scanning. Wanna end up psycho dinner. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. Must have been one hell of a party. You know, in a messed up way, I kind of respect this psycho. I always thought I'd drink or sex myself to death, too. Because those really are the two best options. Huh? Sleep? 
pattern? Oh, flawless! Not now. Interrupt, Rem Psycho! Jumpy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat, Metal Buck! Thanks, Dumpy. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's that's classy. Could have used that little shocker on my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader. <laughs> Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. This is a fun night. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off. Peeling it off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth. <laughs> With your mouth. <sighs> That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh but pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Right. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no thousands, of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save the face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Oh! You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it, baby. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona should fit in on Helios, but you, Sasha? No way, man. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, 
Let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey. Or whatever, just pick something that says I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Sash. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. So, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. We're talking about when you slapped me. Yeah, I'm talking about the slap with the... Look, I, I had just had that fall and, and, and had this uh, out of body experience, and, and I don't I don't know why, what happened, happened, but I, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. You look like absolute corporate scum. Huh, awesome. That's what I was going for. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. One thing. Hmm. I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mother... Unlocked. <sighs> That's convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... big. <gasps> That's Scooter for ya. I hope Vaughn's alright. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back. It's true. 
to see this. <clears throat> Little help? Not a problem. That's creepy. Right. Sorry. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. Who'd have thought? I haven't even gone that far, and it... All feels a million miles away. It puts things in perspective. Everything that we've gone through, it all seems so small from up here. Yeah, it does. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... You know, it's an idea. One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. I can't wait. I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... We get the beacon and ditch Valerie's goons. Leave them on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah. I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? I ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Hello! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning. Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a person? 
looks like he's sleeping too. Henderson. something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it. Whose idea was it to bring this tin can? Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right. Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. Step two without step one. Mister rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They are going to explode. Step two, let's do this. Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Uh, don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of you, yeah, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though.
Awesome. Now get your ass over to my side. Make it fast. Step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No conversating on this one. No, no, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't already tried, okay? This can't be happening. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. There's no time for anything else, you understand? No, I am not leaving you. That is not an option. It is, and that's the only option, all right? No. No. Fiona, look at me. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now, don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! That was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. part is scooter was the best of us he deserves so much better 
He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. We will fire. You do it. It's Vasquez, you imbeciles. And we're landing. <laughs> you sound like you got the Pandoran flu, buddy. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Providence? Right. Providence. Well, now, if it isn't Cockknock and Tweedledick, how's about you get out of my way and let me go do my job? I really hope I get an excuse to kill you. Orders are to verify what the hell you are doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less, with half a loader bot stuck to the top. Hard. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch, uh... Whatever the hell it says, it was a doll satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Hmm. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... on my way. Mm. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Bat, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Well, he had a... he had a little accident. He's in pieces! I know. Reese's pieces. It's terrible. His death, not the button. I'm not taking the blame for this. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. Deal? What deal? It's a little late to play dumb, Hugo. So we agreed that I'd bring you Reese's head? This is priceless. You had one job, and... Well, you blew it. 
I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know Hugo Vasquez. It's been real. We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. All right, all right, you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Ah, security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the... the hub of heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Howdy. No, who, right? Some lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what are you wearing? You ready for this? I was fabulous! 
fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tor. It's like they worship her. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off her tour any second. We're on it. Is that her? No, that's a him. All right, there's a tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide. That's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap, I... Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Ooh. Oh, my outfit's ruined! Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You! Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. She's the head of all Helios. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know... Have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordis. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it. What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty though. Pretty suspicious. So, <laughs> you guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. It better be. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. I don't appreciate your attitude. And I don't appreciate your tardiness. Well, we can't always get what we want, now can we? Handsome Jack always did, and we will too. All right, VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience.
for all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Ah! Handsome Jack's father... Defeating... Um... What a badass. Cool! Like father, like son, I suppose. I can't believe how similar they look. The giant eyeball people who... <laughs> You know, we're ironically all blind. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. An epic mount that Jack rode into every single battle. And, uh... I wonder if Jack even rode that horse into space battles. <laughs> that sounds dangerous and awesome. So, yeah, definitely. Whoever rides this horse is granted three wishes. All three of Jack's wishes, naturally, were for more guns. Oh, ingenious. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. It's just a chair, but what it represents is an idea. Jack started as a lowly programmer sitting in a chair just like this. And now he has a VIP tour dedicated to his greatness. Just imagine where your chairs might take you. Straight to the top, baby! Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. That was a test, people. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. Guess what? You're banned from tours for life. Y you can't do that. Should have been nicer. I won't stand for this. Tough break, kid. Maybe next time you'll show some respect. What's this? It... it was a gift. No metal objects. Next time it gets confiscated. Sorry, sir. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're almost there! Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Gordon, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look! Hmm... Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just stop. Why? Oh boy, I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh, it ought to be. I paid good money for this. Sure, go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. 
Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're on Goodbye. your own, lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. To Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and, uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back, that's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. I just got back and this is the crap I gotta deal with. You owe me an explanation. Or, failing that, the ticket to the top floor you promised me. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Valerie's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder... If you have been wounded by gunfire, please hang up and dial emergency medical services. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down? A stun rod? Oh, wait a second, that's the one... the one I gave... to Reese. Damn it, say something! Shocking, I know. Get out of my office, Yvette. Unless you'd rather take the airlock. How dare you threaten me? Threaten? No, this is happening. Free lunchtime is over. Fiona, you there? Reese, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? I ran into an old friend, who I guess is a new enemy. Is <laughs> that? Yeah, she's dead to me. Well, I mean, 
unconscious, really, but as, as good as dead. She might actually be dead, though. Mm -hmm. Wow. Everyone is trying to screw you over. I know. I have something of a gift for that. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law means everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come on, Reese. It'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the freaking battery on it back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to Strangulation Town with a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. I mean, actually, legally? That's what you're supposed to do to traitors. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it into the bylaws. You're here. Oh, good. Yeah, I could do without the sarcasm, Reese. I don't see you overflowing with ideas. Sorry, just stressed. I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying... I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door—is it a—is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I going to die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're going to need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're, you're, just, you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess and your disguise breaking down. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jack hole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right. I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, I just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why? Why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop looking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? What if it was just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet Reese. me at... Reese, are you there? V Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... With the... V v Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that ten million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better 
Hop to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. Can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! To lead. Chica, bitch, chica. These are the bullets. I've been counting. Get down. a mockery of the Hyperion finger gun tradition. Seriously? That's your problem with this? Wait. You're not Vasquez. Smoke him for real! Here's some more for ya. <laughs> Hope you're not allergic to lead. Chica, bitch, chica. These are the bullets. I've been counting. Get down. This is it. We've got him surrounded. <laughs> 